Well, I've been a huge fan of Roberts for many years since The Witch, uh, and uh, I knew that this uh, that this film was happening, and and uh, then all of a sudden, my agent uh, sent me an email with some sides, and I was like, "Whoa, I, I this is a Robert Eggers movie, and I really want to get this right." So, just started prepping, and I found some old fur. Uh, in my flat that I put on and I tried to <laughs> look like a Viking as best as I could. And, and so I put my cell phone tape and I sent it away. And and then like a couple of days later, I had this Zoom call with Robert and then I got to read the script and and it's just uh, amazing. And um, of course I was immediately on board. I would do anything on a Robert Eggers film. I would, I would, uh, yeah, I would do anything on one of his films and for and getting to play like a uh, like one of the one of the characters uh, it's 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 a dream Thor is the eldest son of Fjolnir and Amlet's cousin and he is when we meet him in the film he's been given this task to to travel to Norway and meet the king and become a slave trader and uh, it's a very honorable task uh, for him and I think he, uh, he has this very youthful and impulsive side to him, uh, like an underlying rage and frustration to prove himself. And, um, and I think that's very interesting to, to get into portray this young man in this time, time in history. I've had so much fun, like developing this character in collaboration with and collaborating with Robert on creating this character because we've uh, had quite a lot of conversations about like how Thor might be the only Viking in this movie who gets to have a little bit of like you can't sit with us attitude <laughs> and uh, and um, Sh Thor always shows up to the party with the most extravagant outfits and with a lot of jewelry and hats and and so on and uh, it's been so much fun He has uh, a lot of respect for his father, Fjolnir, and, um, and, but he still feels that Fjolnir always, always like keeps watch over him and, 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 and makes, makes sure that he doesn't blow the opportunities he's, uh, he's being given. And um, he, um, there's always this thing about like how everybody knows that his father Killed his brother, killed his brother, and took his wife, and then lost his his kingdom to the Norwegian king, and they had to move to this little farm. So I think he has a there's a an element of like feeling a little bit protective of the family and uh, the family's honor in a sense. The mere presence of Amleth thing, I think that's a huge. Uh, moment of element of irritation for for Thorir. I mean, me as uh, as a guy, I'm, I'm maybe I'm not I, I'm not as uh, like just like physically the the appearance of of Aleth. I think he's just like a walking reminder to Thorir, like how he's not the perfect Viking and how he how he's not like uh, perfectly suitable for for the for the task that's uh, lies before him. And um, of course, Aleth. Amleth is just a slave to Thor, but and he's using him as like a chess piece in his in his uh, that's his turf, and Amleth is like might be a valuable asset for him, and um, but I think he as the story story uh, uh, evolves and unfolds, he uh, he starts seeing potential in in Amleth for and. And an opportunity for him to to take advantage of him. I think I've always uh, been very physical, and I've done a lot of like boxing and martial arts and Thai boxing and so on. And that proved to be very um, useful in the uh, in the prep for for my. I mean, I have this sort of sequence with with uh, where Thor fights his best friends and practicing for future fights. But just the footwork of it, and uh, just prepping for that was so much fun, and and uh, and just it was just so much fun. And CC, our lovely stunt coordinator, 
is such a lovely man and a patient master <laughs> who uh, who guided us all through it. And uh, it was a blast. And just like that being said, it's just like getting to wield a sword and and scream with rage and having a shield and all of those things. It's just, it's a, it's a dream come true. I wouldn't lie to say anything else. Rob sent me this, uh, his Dropbox, just filled with uh, texts and poems, Shun's poems, who, who wrote the script uh, with Robert, and uh, and uh, podcasts and music, and, and of course, also lectures by this uh, lovely, very charismatic archaeologist, uh, English archaeologist, uh, Neil Price, who also wrote this amazing book called uh, Children of Ash and Elm, that I also read. Uh, and that was that was uh, really great to 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 just like I mean, there's a lot that I don't really have that's not really useful for for my from 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 my perspective as like portraying this character, but but just like getting grounded in the material and just like diving into this world and learning about the the everyday life of these uh, of these people who, who lived in this time. I knew Alex a little bit from from from, from before. We, we have met a couple of times in in bars and restaurants and so on in Stockholm. Since he's also uh, Swedish, and but just like getting to work with him on this on this movie has been it, it's just been so great to watch him. He's such a great leading man, and he he always shows up with this with a, this big smile on his face, and and he's setting this great vibe on set and. And working so hard. I mean, the the the, the physical, just the physical, the physical challenge of portraying the character that he does, must be uh, just overwhelmingly hard. And he does it with such grace and with yeah, as I said, he always shows up with this huge smile. And yeah, he's he's a great leader. I I think, great guy. Nicole Kidman is she's royalty. She's she's like one of the biggest names in the industry, and rightfully so. She is just amazing. I don't know how many films I've seen with her, and she's always been one of my favorites. And just to be on the same call sheet as her is is sort of hard to wrap your head around. I think. Chris is just. Fantastic. He has this very, very intense presence and such a great charisma. And um, he's he's been so generous with me and like, and we've really been able to like establish this father and son relationship and find what that is between these characters that's special for them. And and um, it's, it's it's been great. He's he's fantastic. I I love working with him. I'm proud to be his on-screen son. Working with Robert is that's just been amazing. He's a true, true artist and a visionary, and he is. I think he's one of the most interesting directors working today, actually. And um, and he is uh, so incredibly kind and funny and humble. And he creates this space for me as an actor where I feel that I can just try things and fail and be bad. And and uh, and also he's. His, uh, he's very much an actor's director, and um, and um, he's also just a joy to be around. I mean, just the level of detail on the costumes and in the in the all the environments and the sets is it's just it gives you so much in 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 terms of of uh, like piecing your performance together because it's especially in a time in a period piece like this, uh, it gives you so much just like. Just getting into the costume of of, of of Thor and getting the rings on and the and, and the hair and the beard and all it's uh, and they're just stepping onto set and you're actually like between action and cut you're actually like living the life of these people of these Vikings it's it's really it's really a blessing to to uh, getting to do that. You haven't seen an epic revenge story until you've seen it through the eyes of Robert Eggers. That's um, uh, sort of 
what I would say to people. And I'm very thrilled for, for people to see this, this beautiful and violent and poetic painting that Robert is painting. It's, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, something that the world has never seen before, I think.